Hey everybody, it's me Dana aka Triple C. Welcome into Triple Team TV. This is my behind the scenes channel where you'll see behind the scenes, what's going on with the family, what kind of things we might be nibbling on. If we're going on a trip or whatever it may be, this is where you're going to see that. So many of you know, it is my son's 10th birthday. Can you believe he's been living here on this earth for a decade now? Yes, but he's not my only son. I do have a son that will be 18 this year and a daughter who will be 21. And time is flying. So we always have birthday parties. He's the only summer baby that we have. Our daughter's a fall baby and our son, our oldest son, is a winter baby. So with our baby son being the summer baby of the family, we've always had outdoor parties for him. And I know one of these days he's gonna outgrow them and want to do something else. But in the meantime, in between time, we're sticking with our outdoor parties. Ever since he was born, we've always done things in the yard, whether it be party games, prizes, and you name it. So this year we decided to keep that tradition going and we're gonna have it outdoors. We got games, and we have prizes, and I'm gonna be doing some customization of many of these things. So I wanna take you with me on that trip. And I'm, first I'm gonna show you a bit of the haul that my husband went and picked up today. I'll show you what's in here because I don't even really know what's all in the bags. And then later on, I'll show you me customizing these things, how we're gonna set up the tables. And then tomorrow you'll see us live uh, actually playing and using the things and many of you blessed us and donated to the party so thank you for that because that is a huge help some of you bought him gifts some of you sent him dineros for gifts and some of you um sent him gift cards so i will be helping him to get things and he will be saying thank you to you all for those gifts because you didn't have to do any of that so i appreciate you so so much and so I hope you guys are ready to see what's in these bags as I am. I don't know what's going on here, right? So my husband, I wanted to get some bags, some knapsacks, so that way I could personalize them and then everybody can have their little knapsacks. You know, they can have something they can put their goodies in if they want goodies or if they won a prize, they could have, you know, something like that. So we'll see what he can find. Um, he ended up going to the Dollar Tree as well as I believe Joanne. So let's see what's in the bags. All right, guys, so my son said he wanted his party colors to be red, black, and white, or red and black. Now, I'm a blue fan, but I don't mind. Whatever color he wants is on him, you know? So when the kids want what they want, just give them what they want. I think he wanted other colors at first. I think it was like red and green, and we were like, okay, it's not Christmas time right now. We're going, hey, cut out the Christmas right now. Hey, you're going to make us stressed out. We think about Christmas a little too early. Hey, we, that's a lot. Christmas is, it can be stressful. So anyways, let's see what else we got. This is a bag from Dollar Tree, so we got some Dollar Tree goods in here. We have a few different Dollar Trees, and some of them are a little bit better than others. Some of them are super large, and they have fully good stock. Some of them are, like, the stock is still in the boxes because they're really understaffed. But my husband found a good Dollar Tree today, and he ended up finding one that was fully stocked, and they have some goodies. So let's see what we got going on. We do have some cups. Let's see my husband got some cups. I don't know if we're making punch. I don't know what's going on for the drinkery, but we have cups. I see there's our, these are black and these each were 16 in each. So that's pretty good. Pretty good count for the $1.25. You know, Dollar Tree is up on us. And then even many of us have $5 pieces or $5 items in our Dollar Tree. That's right. So Dollar Tree and up or Dollar Tree Plus is what it's called now. So we have those. And then we also have some balloon clips. So I guess this is how, if you want to assemble your balloons together. Okay, I never saw this before. This is really new to me. All right, have you guys ever seen these? These are where you actually can create balloon clusters. All right, so if you don't feel like tying them up, I would normally grab like extra streamer and string and like just do what I do. You know, put those babies together, tie them up some kind of way, hoping they will not bust and pop. But my husband found these, which is called balloon clips. And there's 10 of them in here. Love it. All right, have you also got me a little gum, which I'll be nibbling on <laughs> right about now, because I love gum. I'm a big gummer. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big chewer. I like my gum. Anyway, so he's got the gum. So these are Canel's gum. There's 20 calories in one piece. And I like these. They're just like little different flavors. They don't really last long, but they're good. Hey, they're good for the, for the you know, for a little short-term fun. So... We also got this. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. 
Did he grab the wrong thing? This is a seven. Mm. Looks like a zero and a seven. I thought our son was turning 10, not 70. Hey, maybe he knows something I don't know, guys. I'm just around here. Is this a seven? Guys, this is like a seven. Maybe he said we're going to make do. Hey, he's, <laughs> he's married to me, guys, and, and we make do around here. If we don't have something, guys, we'll figure out a way to make it happen. So maybe we're going to fold this baby down and turn it into a one. Maybe they didn't have any ones, all right? Maybe one's a popular number. I don't know. They say one is the loneliest number, but now I guess it's the, only, the, the most popular number. So we might, have to, <laughs> we might have to rig up some stuff, but whatever happens, it happens. I like these. These are where you can just put the straw in the back in there, blow that baby up. You don't need all this crazy, huge equipment, expensive stuff. Just use your mouth and blow those babies up. So that's what we have those. They're gold. Love it. Also, this is a happy banner. It just says happy on it, so I guess we got birthday somewhere. It just says happy. Love it. Love the banner. I love any type of inflatables. Like, I love inflatables for birthdays. Nothing else. Just for birthdays. But I love it, guys. Next, we got some balloons. We got a 20 piece. Mm. I don't know. I guess it's from Dollar Tree. 20 balloons for a dollar? Not too bad, guys. I was thinking $10. 10 for a dollar. But 20 is not too bad. Love it. Also, more balloons. We got the red. We got the white. And we got the black guys. So we're going to have this party set up nicely. We're probably going to start blowing balloons tonight because we do have church in the morning. And you know, after church, everybody's going to come over. Everybody's going to have a good time. And we cannot be blowing balloons up when everybody's walking to the door. And that's how it always is. Every time someone comes to the birthday parties, we're blowing balloons. We're still cooking. We're still nooking. And and guys, we got to be prepared, all right? Our son's been here for a decade. We should have got this down by bound pack by now, right? So let's try We're going to try tonight. I'm going to really try to get heavily prepared really seriously tonight and stop playing. And then and, and then tomorrow we'll just, like, finish, you know, get it done, done. You know, if we got to leave church early, whatever we got to do, we'll do it. I don't know exactly what's on the menu yet, but usually we'll have, like, a hot dog, something on the grill, and always some sloppy joes. I make a mean sloppy joe. It's a secret recipe that I tap into that many people don't know, and I have never shared. Because if I have to tell you, guess what? I have to do something else to you that I can't say on YouTube. Anyways, so I usually make the sloppy joes. My mom's like, oh, make the sloppy joes. No one else eats my sloppy joes. They say my joes are sloppy and they're not good. So I'm the one that makes the sloppy joes in the family. And so we may make those tomorrow with some side dishes. You know, you got maybe a baked bean, maybe a Getty, maybe mac and cheese. He has like this buffet. I don't know why we're having a buffet, but he likes to have that on his birthday party. The other kids, they like whatever. We can do taco bars and, you know. But he's like, oh, mom, I want this. I'm like, okay, well, this is not that, baby. We're not doing Thanksgiving. We're not doing Thanksgiving, baby. This is just a birthday party. You know, we're not doing that, okay? But so I don't know what's on the menu. My husband, if he's feeling like really in the mood, he will knock all that out. <laughs> He'll be like, you know what, we're going to eat today. So uh, whatever he wants to do, I'll let him do it. Because I'm doing the decorations and the personalizations, and my husband's going to be in the kitchen wrist whipping like a stir fry. So I'm going to let him do that. So, continuing on in the bags, we have mm, a little yarn balloons. Never saw these either. Dollar Tree. What good goodies you have. Dollar Tree is really stepping it up, guys. I'm just throwing out there. Ever since they put that quarter on there, <laughs> ever since they put the quarter on there, guys, they've been taking it to another level. They don't have just the ordinary goodies anymore. They've stepped it up. They say, hey, we're going to make it sure it's worth a dollar and a quarter. Love it. So, I guess, guys, you would just put your balloons right into the yard. Once you blow these babies up, you can have a way to just place them in the yard for decoratives. Mm-hmm. I like it because I can see ourselves lining them up nicely. We're probably going to pull out the tent, our little tent tent, put our table underneath there, little banners hanging, and then we have a little balloonery in the decor in the yard. Love it. Okay, he also has some plates. Love it. Got to have the plates because we're not washing any dishes. <laughs> Throwing out. There's no dishes washing in this season. So, guys... Paper plates got to have nice size as well, not the itty bitties, because, you know, I like to eat. I don't want the saucers. Give me a full plate because I don't want to have to double and dibble and triple dip on plates, all right? It's going to make me look greedy if I got to keep coming back for more. Give me the full plate. That way I can get everything on that one go. If I need a second go, it doesn't look too bad. But if you give me that saucer, how can I fit the hot dog, the burger, 
the mac and cheese and the getty on that saucer, okay? I can't do it, all right? Now I'm walking around with six plates and everybody's calling me piggy. So the big plate is great. This is 24 count <laughs> and he got two of those babies. Love it. Also have some plastic we got to have. We've got the spoons because we got to have ice cream. With the cake, there's got to be ice cream. I mean, I can't eat cake without ice cream. I got to have both. I like them both. Hey, they say can't have your cake and eat it too. But how about I got to have my ice cream and eat it too with my cake. So, he's got those. But then he also has some balloon glue. Mm. I never... What is going on with the balloon plate at, at the Dollar Tree? You know, they're making things happen. They have balloon glue. I have to look and see what all these things are for because I never even knew what we need the balloon glue for. What are we gluing it to? Are we gluing them together? Are we gluing them to the walls? I don't know what we're gluing these balloons to, but we have glue for it. We also have a little bit of tablecloth thing, so love it. You got to keep the tables covered, you know, because it keeps them, you know, from getting dirty and keeps them covered if they're dirty. Also, we do have the birthday candles. You got to have it, y'all. Hey, you can't have the birthday without the candles, all right? That's what I'm talking about, guys. Whether you have the the number candles like so or you have the individuals, whatever you have, get those candles because I think every kid and adult, we like to blow the candles out. I feel like, you know, if, even if it's a cupcake, we get old and we don't have the cake, the big cake, the big extravaganza, we still want to blow out a little candle. I think it's a special little thing, you know? So love it. Love these candles. And we got more spoons. You can't get enough spoonery. <laughs> now, this is a bit of the Joanne's haul that my husband went to. He was going to grab some t-shirts. I said, honey, I want to have prizes. And I don't want to just have any type of prize. I want to do our goldfish prize because they may be playing games. And I want them to win goldfish. I want them to win goldfish. Like, every year, we always have goldfish as prizes. I know people probably get tired of goldfish because... It's the same thing, but I'm sure their goldfish have died from last year, so why not get them out again? Every year we like to give out goldfish or tropical fish, whatever kind of fish we can get. We'll give them out and we'll give out food to go with them so that way they can't say that their fish died on our end. We gave you food, we gave you fish. Now you do the rest with you as you wish. So, I also want to do t-shirts. I said, ooh, let's have some t-shirts. They can have a little t-shirt. They win some prizes. They can have a little t-shirt. I'll customize it, whether it be, you know, with their favorite brand or not. All right? I will put it on the front of the shirt. They'll have it, and they'll feel special because they won a shirt. So, after they win their prizes or after they win the game, they can go over to the prize table, and they can select a prize, whether it be a shirt. So, my husband was a Joanne's. Joanne's had shirts as well as... Um, Walmart had shirts and I know I like going to Joann's because they have the 50% off coupon if I'm not ordering them like from a bulk place and I don't have any time for any bulk ordering I just go to like Joann's or somewhere I can use a coupon I know Walmart has them usually like $3.99 which is cool but Joann's will have them for like $5 and then you can put that that 50% off makes them $2.50 and usually when you go to Joann's they will let you do multiple transactions so if I don't have the whole family with me doing multiple transactions I'm there doing multiple as long as the line's not too long I'll just go back do 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 I'll hit them with a 10 piece transaction as long as I can get my deals guys you know you know I love my deals so I said get shirts that are probably our son's age sizes and maybe a size smaller the kids will grow into them there's no really need to get the smallest of shirts really i mean because kids will wear them bigger and they'll grow into them i'd rather them grow into a shirt and have something that's super small and basically useless so i don't know if we're going to get more probably will because my husband just did some quick runnery trying to check around and see what was on sale and what wasn't he ended up going to joann's and when he went to joann's guys they were already on sale and if you know anything about sale places at these joann's or any other store you can't use coupons if they're on sale unless you use a coupon that says additional 20 percent off or additional whatever else if it's already on sale you're not going to be able to combine it with a 50 percent off so he was a little bit perturbed about it but he ended up grabbing a couple so we got a black one here. So I could put a Nike on there. I could put a Jordan on there. I could put a Fortnite on there. Something's going on in these shirts and the kids are gonna love them and they're gonna enjoy them. So I got that black one. He also has a red one, love it. And also another black one is another black one. Okay, got another black. All right, got another black as well. 
So I'm probably going, I'm going to go in and I'm going to measure across the chest area to see how big and long and wide and everything I want to put it, you know, on the chest. Um, because I know a lot of kids in the area, they love Fortnite. So I'm going to put some Fortnite going to be on there. A lot of them, they wear their Jordans. So, you know, Jordans got to be on there. So it's going to be some something that they're going to like. And, and and also, he went in there and snuck in and, and grabbed me a little yarn. I said, hey, he's going to the yarn store. And he picked me up some yarn. Hey, he's a keeper, right? Can I say that? <laughs> Wait, hey, he got me some yarn. He said, I'm going for our son's birthday party, but I still, I still want to get you some yarn. And it's summertime, and I need my cotton yarn because the other yarns are not good for summer. Guys, you'll be sweating. So the cotton yarns are the best for this season to keep you cool. You know, we're not, you know, we don't, we, we're already hot enough. We don't need anything to make us hotter. So this is the perfect yarn for summer. And he grabbed some. He found some on sale for me, and he picked it up for me to see if I would like it. So this is like a little trial yarn. See if I like it. If I like it, he'll get more. He said. All right. So, but that's not it, guys. It's not. That's, that's not the rest of it. Here is what I wanted. This is what I really wanted, right? I'm gonna show you. I said I want some. I wanted tote bags, and I wanted to go to Michaels because when I go to Michaels, they, you know, they do me right. And we can't always go to Michaels. Right now, with our vehicle being down, we can't go all the way out to Michaels. We just can't, and we don't have the time. Our schedule's like super crammed. We have all these different things going on, places to be, and previous engagements to make it to. So he wasn't expecting to find these at Dollar Tree, but he did. And these are some little knapsacks. He said, honey, he called me. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. You know, as I answer, he's like, yes. He's like, I found some knapsacks. I'm like, what? Where'd you find them? He's like, <laughs> I didn't know where he was at. I'm like, where are you? Did you go to Michael's without me? Don't do this. He did not go to Michael's without me. He went to Dollar Tree and he found little knapsacks. So these babies are getting customized. And I said, load up. I told him, he said they were $1.25. And my two words I gave him was, load up if you don't know what that means load up means <laughs> clear the shelves okay don't leave anything for anyone else okay nothing nothing on the shelf take it all all right load up is clear shelves okay those are the same thing to me when i hear load up i mean i don't want it all all of it so he went i don't think he cleared the shelves but he grabbed a nice amount and we have the knapsacks guys so these are going to have you know whatever kind of different little brand names that they want or favorite video game names on them too we got black we have doo -doo 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 -doo, pink i feel like i don't know if we have we're gonna have a lot of girls here i don't know who's all coming we said everybody's welcome we always welcome everybody it doesn't really matter i mean we've had people that we have never even met come to our birthday party before and we end up finding out who they were becoming friends and family and now we are able to go to their kids birthday parties so everybody's welcome we never turn anybody away just because that's just how we are everybody's welcome until all the food is gone come so all the games are done come uh whatever just get here all right if you see the kids out here playing enjoy yourselves so anyways that's what we're doing so we got some pink i don't know if we're gonna have many girls i don't know but we got black we have pink okay so he's got a nice amount here one two three four we got some navy blue five six seven oh my goodness and we got some red i don't even know how many i don't know where i was at i think i was like seven i think eight nine ten in the rhetoric okay and then we have about three more 13 so i think this is pretty cool everybody at this point i mean whoever comes first is probably gonna get these but i don't know i'm just gonna have them on the prize say we're gonna have other games i think he even bought some like games and stuff like mini monopoly games many other games for people to win as prizes too because you know it's the summertime and, and a lot of kids are don't even know how to play board games because they never played them they're playing video games they don't even know what monopoly is all right so to have like little fun games like that they can play them here they can play them at home but they'll have something to keep them a little bit busy sometimes because i know some of these kids are getting their phones taken so they're like what do i do i don't have anything to do pull out that board game so this is the haul for today for this particular birthday themed haul i'm going to go and figure out what i'm going to put on these get some customizations going i'll do another video of what i picked out and i'll show you the finished product after i get these babies customized all right let's see how they're going to be i'm excited to see how they're going to turn out and i'll also be we'll be going live again to show you guys the party fun and how much happy how happy he is last night he got a ukulele or ukulele he has been wanting a ukulele for so long guys i, I don't know why 
But uh, yeah, he's been wanting an ukulele for a very long time. I think our our biggest son wanted one too, our oldest son. He wanted an ukulele as well. And I, I don't know what's going on with the ukuleles, but he says aloha. That's what our son said. He said aloha. Uh, evidently, he's tapping into his Hawaiian vibes, and he's welcome to do so. So he's got one of those. My daughter got him one of those. He wanted an etch a sketch. Our kids are kind of like they live like back there when not, he, they live in our era. I don't know. I'm okay with that though. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this haul, a Dollar Tree haul slash Joann's haul. And I'll show you again what I come up with with these bags and these t-shirts. Until next time, remember to live on purpose and love on purpose. Love ya.